Hi, I wanted to hop on and share something with you. If you have a home mortgage, it's possible that you could save $200 or more every single month without doing a $2,500 refinance. How is that possible, you ask? Well, if you purchased your home or refinanced in 2019, 2020, or 2021, and you're one of those lucky people that has a mortgage in the twos or the 3% range, this one is for you, especially if you put minimum down at that time. How is that, you ask? First, that's because you're probably paying PMI. What is PMI, you ask? PMI is private mortgage insurance. I'll tell you what PMI is not. PMI is not a mortgage insurance policy that will pay you if something happens to you or if your house burns down. PMI or private mortgage insurance is strictly to protect the bank and you pay every single month somewhere between $50 and sometimes between up to $400 and that's protecting the bank in case you default on your loan, which means you maybe you lose your job and you can't make your mortgage payment. However, PMI is not necessarily forever and you don't always have to refinance in order to remove PMI and save that money. So, in the last three years, you may have had a magical thing happen to your home and that would be an increase in equity. And that means that you might now be at a 78 to 80% loan to value without doing anything and without paying extra on your mortgage. And that would allow you, if we can prove it, to get rid of private mortgage insurance. So how do we do that? How do we save you 50 to $450 a month? Actually, you can do it yourself. And here's the steps. So number one, you wanna print out your mortgage statement. Look at your mortgage statement to make sure that you are still paying PMI. Your mortgage statement should say that, and you're gonna be escrowing if you pay PMI. So figure out how much it says that you're paying so that you know how much you're gonna save when you finish this process. Next, go to the website of your servicer. The servicer is the organization or the bank to whom you make your mortgage payment. You're going to search on their website for the words PMI removal. If there is a PMI removal form on the website, you're gonna fill that out or you're gonna print it out, or you're gonna email it to yourself so that you can do it later. Now keep in mind that all banks and servicers are a little bit different. So they all have different processes that they want you to follow in order to get this done. So check the process on the website to find out what your mortgage holder wants from you in order to get this PMI removed. The next thing that you'll do, and they might not say this on the website, is write a letter of intent. That means that you're writing to tell them that you intend to request to have the PMI removed from your mortgage. On this letter, you're going to include your, all of your pertinent information, your name, your address, your phone number, um, your email address, all of your contact information, the loan number, which you will find on your mortgage statement. I'd actually include a copy of the mortgage statement with this letter, um, and then the amount that you think your home is currently worth or the value and how much you currently owe on your mortgage. You're going to do a quick math figure and if your what you owe on the mortgage is 78 to 80% of what you think the house is worth, then you might qualify to get the PMI removed. Your servicer may request that you upload the letter and um, a form from their website in order to get this done. So do go ahead and do that if that's what they request. I would suggest that you do one extra step. I would include your letter of intent with a copy of your mortgage statement and a copy of the document that you get from their website. And I would send that by USPS priority mail to the post office box uh, where the bank is located. Do not try to do it by FedEx and do not try to do it by UPS because they do not deliver to PO boxes. Only the United States Postal Service does that. When you do that, you can be more assured that you, you've covered yourself in two ways. You've uplo uploaded it digitally, and then you've also sent it by mail. Once you do that, I would wait seven to 10 days from the time you send the letter, and I would call the servicer on their 800 number, and I would ask them if they received your documentation and your request, and if so, what are your next steps?
that will help to make it happen sooner. If you would like some samples of the type of letter that you send, um, along with PMI removal instructions in writing, if you put the words or the letters PMI in the chat, along with your correct email, I would be happy to send that over to you. In return, I would like for you to text me and let me know if you're successful and how much you got to save. Let's do this. Let's get rid of that PMI.